The next award has been given over the years to the legends like Bill Hayward, Ralph Miller, Ad Rushman, Clyde Charles, and Harry Glickman. Let's find out who's going to be uh, added to that prestigious list tonight. Take a look at our nominees for the Slats Guild Sports Person of the Year. Nigel Burton, Portland State University football head coach. A rising star in the collegiate coaching ranks, Burton engineered a tremendous turnaround in his second season with the Vikes as PSU finished seven and four. Steve Corey, Lake Oswego High School football head coach. Runners up no more, Lake Oswego, led by Coach Corey, captured their first state championship in football in 2011 with a perfect 14 and 0 record. Jim Kelly, University of Oregon football head coach. Rose Bowl, BCS title game, Rose Bowl again, and three consecutive Pac-10, Pac-12 championships. Chip Kelly is building a legacy as head coach of the Ducks. Merritt Paulson, owner and president, Portland Timbers. One of the most dynamic young owners in all of pro sports. Merritt Paulson brought a Rose City sports dream to reality by acquiring and building the Portland Timbers Major League franchise in two years. Jackson Vaughn, Linfield College softball. The ninth-year coach guided the Wildcats to their second NCAA Division III championship in the past five years. You know, when you get old, every now and then you get a little lost about kind of things you're supposed to do, but I thought somebody was supposed to hand. Okay, so the winner is Merritt Paulson, owner of the Portland Timbers. <laughs> Merritt couldn't be here tonight, but here to accept the trophy is the Timbers COO and MLS Executive of the Year and my personal friend, Mike Golub. So you picked that up backstage. I thought I was supposed to give that to you. On behalf of Merritt Paulson, the entire Timbers organization, thank you so much for this wonderful recognition. Merritt was deeply honored to have been selected as this year's recipient of the Slat Skill Award and was very disappointed he could not be here in person due to a long-standing family trip. But he did, however, have a chance to record some thank yous, so let's take a look. Aloha, welcome from Hawaii, or in actuality, the basement of Jell Wynn Field. I'd be a little bit tanner if I were doing this in real time. I am so sorry I couldn't be there in person tonight. Uh, my wife would have absolutely killed me if I canceled our trip, though. I was actually at the awards show last year where I presented an award and enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a terrific, tremendous honor to receive, to receive the Slat Skill Sportsman of the Year Award. I'm nowhere near the sportsman that the fellow nominees are, but if in some way, you know, this is a nod to the impact that the Portland Timbers have had on our city and our state, our region, I certainly will accept it. Uh, it's, it's been a great year. Uh, this, is, this is a city that is a true sports town, and it needed something else. The Portland Timbers are the right team at the right time. You know, it's a team that can succeed off the field. It's a, a team that can succeed on the field. We've got the most incredible atmosphere you're going to see out there in what is the fastest growing professional sports league anywhere in the world. And it's going to reflect extremely positively on Portland for years to come. So, you know, thank you once again. Uh, it, was, it was very difficult to make Major League Soccer happen in Portland. But as they say, the difficult things are often the most worthwhile. Thank you so much.